Next, we will try to connect to database and load the tasks from the database and show them in our tasks component. Before we do so, let's take a look into documentation, how to get data from database. Here in the documentation, we can load read data documentation. Scroll down and see that to get the document, we should call get function on the collection of the documents. Let's try it. Getting data is a side effect, meaning that we need to call some other resource. And for side effects in React and React Native, we have hooks right now. Use effect hook. Use effect hook takes callback and list of the parameters. But once this list of parameters is not empty, then this hook will be called only once those parameters are changed. If we leave the list of the parameters empty, it means that this hook will be called only once, once the component renders. So far, this is required effect. And inside, let's use the database that we have created before in the Firestore. So we will import it. and use collection reference tasks and call and call get function on it get method is asynchronous and it returns promise so we have to work with this via then method. This will return some result and result has docs on it, which is an array of some query documents. These documents, we can use them to extract our data. Document has ID, name, and created at These documents we then save into some state. Let's create So what does this function do? 
first we create reference to the tasks collection in the database then we get all the values from it we unpack it and we map those documents into our defined object and then all these objects we save into the internal state of the component in the end we can use this value this variable to iterate through and show the tasks in here and let's do so we use map function for iteration and we will map this task object into the react component that we defined previously for the task and inside we will use task name and for the checkbox value we will use task created add but as created add is date we need to use boolean value so we'll use two exclamation marks this is the negation of the of the value and second negation that means that it will convert any value into the boolean value like this and let's see what will happen and also we have an error here we should uh, use here function data and also here to extract data fields from the document and also we have one more attribute which is completed add which we will also be using for checkbox like this it works as we have also completed at here if I would delete this attribute and refresh our application we would see that the checkbox is unchecked we also have warning here that each child in a list should have unique key this means that we should add key attribute here and we'll use unique ID of the items this is required for react and react native framework to know what, when the list changes which item precisely was changed moved removed or updated so the react and react native so the react and react native framework can re-render only those components with those keys if we wouldn't add this attribute here in the future our application might not work correctly 